you guys, it's Tilly, you know, that girl that said she would go back to posting videos regularly and then just never did. Well, today I am back and I am not making any promises on doing a video schedule at the moment because life has changed dramatically for me this last month and I am just finding it so hard to get back into a schedule of things and to keep doing as much bookish stuff as I used to do. I know this is a book haul video, but very quickly to begin with, as for how my life has been going, I'm actually in a really good place right now. I have had the same job for the, like the last five years, and although I have enjoyed that job, I think that in the last few years it has really brought me down and I haven't enjoyed it nowhere near as much and my quality of life hasn't been as great so I've actually got a new job now working in a bookstore and I am really enjoying that and that is also part of the reason why my book holes are going to be so big now because I get a lot of good book recommendations and I get a few free books and there are just some that I can't resist buying. And other things in my life have kind of been on and off. I had my heart broken for the first time which was a joy. I am now a mother to three orphan baby geese which is also a joy because they like to chirp all night long. And I also have family over at the moment from England so I've been spending time with them and it has just been really hard to read at the moment and to just get back into everything bookish but I am going to try my best because I really do love you guys and appreciate the book community and just something about being surrounded by books just makes me feel so much better. So despite some bad things happening to me I'm actually in a very good place right now and I'm actually surprisingly pretty happy at the moment. Everything's kind of going really well for me and I just think that I have learned a lot about myself in these last few weeks and that's going to help me to grow into the person that I hope I can be. And enough of that sloppy shit, let's get into the books. So I mentioned that I do have family over from England and it is my lovely Nana and Pop and my Nana went and bought me this book from a secondhand bookstore. It is called Norman Lindsay's Cats, introduced by Douglas Stewart. I haven't actually read it, I have flipped through this and the artwork in this is actually so, so adorable. Because this fuzz buzz big game hunter as he's trying to chase his chicken it gets onto its back and then the chicken just totally runs off and kicks the cat into the dust and it's just like illustrations all through it like this and it is super cute and I really love it. Next up is a book that I read really quickly because it is a small poetry book and I tend to just devour these all in one sittings and I really enjoy them because they're quick and easy and a lot of them I just feel with so much emotion that I just enjoy reading them so if you're a fan of Milk and Honey or The Princess Saves Herself in this one you've probably already heard of Worlds of You by Bo Taplin but I don't recommend you pick it up. This one is mostly about like love and heartbreak which I probably shouldn't have read at this point in time but I did get through it and I didn't cry so yay. <laughs> the Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. Despite my time away from booktube I still am so shit at pronouncing author names. But let's uh, but let's appreciate this absolutely stunning 25th anniversary edition of this book and I'm so excited to actually read it like it has the fold out like edges so I only need to you know, fold the pages because I'm a monster. This next one I got from the publishers and that is The Boat Runner by Devin Murphy. I've heard amazing things about this and I'm pretty excited to get around to it. So this is a historical fiction novel and from what I gather about it, it follows the story of two young boys. They um, are fishermen in their village and when things start to happen during the war they get sent into one of Hitler's camps um, to be trained up for the war. And because these boys have experience with boats they get put into the navy and pretty much they have the moral dilemma of having to fight in this war knowing it is wrong versus doing the right thing. So I think it'd be quite an interesting read. I'm a big fan of historical fiction so I should hopefully get around to that soon. Unearthed by Amy Coffin and Megan Spooner. I don't even know anything about this book besides the fact that I really want to read it. I have loved books by both of these authors before so I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy this one. I did not know what to think about this book when I first heard about it but I'm actually really starting to grow curious about it and I would love to hear your opinions if you have read this book because I don't know how it's going to go but I do like the concept of it. And that is The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. So you have our main character Holly who on Christmas Eve five years ago was showed how selfish and spoiled she'd become. The ghost tried to convince her to change her ways and she did not so she died. And when she died she got put into company Project Scrooge and became the latest ghost for Christmas past. So pretty much every year that she has worked on them she's been miserable and grouchy and hated her job but this year that the book is written about things will change. This next one is a book that I could not refuse buying. It is probably one of the greatest book purchases I have ever made because I am a lover of food and I am also a lover of books and so when I saw the Little Library Cookbook, 100 Recipes from Your Favourite Stories by Kate Young, I could not resist. And let me tell you that this is actually a stunning book first of all, like the pages there are just absolutely gorgeous 
And then the recipes are also really a big range of food as well. And I'm going to be using so much of the Christmas stuff. Like for the first one here, we've got Turkish Delight from The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Then you have Buckwheats by Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Christmas Dinner, which is a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And it just continues on. And they've got so many in here and so many good books as well. So I feel like I'm just going to spend so much time enjoying food and books at the same time. As you guys probably know, I've been in a reading slump for a very long time. And I have probably mentioned just a couple of times that I am a trash for romance books. And so I've started reading The Closer You Come by Gina Showalter. And this book I was not prepared for. I started reading it and I thought I was going to despise it because it was so cliched. And then all of a sudden he's like, steamy scenes start happening and this is like the steamiest book that I have read so like I'm getting like very like scared to continue reading this because like nothing big has even happened yet but like some of the sentences that I read I'm just kind of like this isn't a cover I can read in public I was on my lunch break and I sat at a table and I started reading this book and I'm reading it like this and I can just see this old couple sitting to the left of me giving me some weird glances and that's when I remembered that this half-naked man is on the cover of my book. So I proceeded to pack up my things and go and sit somewhere else because I was that embarrassed. But I'm actually kind of intrigued by how the story is going to go. Like there are parts of it at the moment where I'm just like, communicate and it wouldn't have any problems. I'm sure you guys will see a review when I do finish this though. This next one is actually super, super cute. So um, I went to the Dimmick's book club last night and that's where I bought a bunch of my books. That is also where I'm working. I work at Dimmick's now. Yay! And for the book club, we did a secret Santa. So everyone bought a book under $20, wrapped it up, put it into this giant sack of book filled goodies and then everyone just picked one out. And the book that I got was Dorothy Must Die by Danielle Page and my secret Santa gave me this really cute letter and I just really, really felt at home at that book club so I'm very excited that I got a book that I haven't actually owned or read yet. Yay! So this is like the horror version of The Wizard of Oz. So in this book you have Amy Gum who has been given one order. She's been recruited by the Revolutionary Order of the Wicked and she has a mission to remove the Tin Woodman's heart, steal the Scarecrow's brain, take the Lion's courage and then Dorothy must die. This is another arc that I've got. It's called You, Me and Everything by Catherine Isaac. Um, it says, when you're surrounded by love, you have nothing to fear. So, from what I understand, this is a book about family and love. You, me, and everything is a heartfelt and unforgettable story about the lengths we are prepared to go to for those that we love. I won this book of book club, and it is called Beyond a Dark and Shore by Jessica Leake. I picked it up purely for the cover. And from what I'm gathering, this book is a romantic historical fantasy standalone, and it is also the debut novel. It sounds like it's going to be interesting, but at the same time, there is a whole lot of information on the back here, and I'm not too sure how the story is going to go for it being a standalone. It does sound like it's going to be pretty hectic. So you have Kiera who is a princess um, and she can protect her people by manipulating the minds of her enemies but there is a darkness still closing in and she starts to like vision this crow. And then she ends up meeting Leaf who is a Northman leader and he sees these visions too. So the two of them have to then band together to save the world and it just sounds like a lot is going to happen but I don't really know how the story is going to go. We have Stags or S-T-A-G-S. Um, I'm not too sure about this one, but it is by M.A. Bennett and nine students, three blood sports and one deadly weekend. Interesting. We also have the 2017 YA Fan Fest book by Ellen Unwin. So this just has different snippets from different authors and books that were coming out or are coming out. So you've got one from M.A. Bennett, Holly Black, Libba Bray, Wei Chim, Gabby Dunn, Alison Raskin, Sally Gardner, Vicky Grant, Jay Kristoff, E. Lockhart, Ellie Marnie, Penny Rosson, Claire Strahan, and Lily Wilkerson. And I apologize for those incorrect names that I had no doubt said. We have The Extremely Inconvenient Adventures of Bronte Metalstone by Jacqueline Moriarty. Now, I'm not going to read the entire blurb of this, but I'll just read this first, like, sentence or two. I was ten years old when my parents were killed by pirates. This did not bother me as much as you think it might. I hardly knew my parents. That sentence straight away has me so intrigued. But unfortunately, this is only suitable for readers aged 10 to 14, so I can't read it. That's a joke, of course, going to devour it. This next one is the book club book for the next two months, and that is Right Where You Left Me by Kala Devlin. And I'm actually pretty intrigued by this book. So you have our main character who is a young girl, and her dad works as a reporter, and he pretty much 
will go and fly into the eye of the storm to try and get the best news possible for his business. And so in this case, he leaves to go to the Ukraine and the FBI come knocking on their door one day and they have to fight off these images in their head because something bad has happened. I don't think he's dead, but their daughter is talking about saying that she will do anything to get her dad back, no matter what promises she has to break or what laws she has to break. So I'm pretty interested to see how this one turns out. I'm not too sure about it, so if you guys have read it, please let me know and hopefully it'll be good. I have two books left and these are like two gifts that I got myself because I have no self-control. The first one is The Beauty and the Beast. This is illustrated by Mina Lima and this is so stunning. I have the Peter Pan version of this book and I love it because it's kind of interactive. Like you get pop-outs and fold-outs and like posters that you can take out and stuff and I cannot wait to open this and actually take the time to go through it and just absorb all the beauty of this book. And as for the last book that I bought, it is quite heavy, quite big and quite beautiful and it is The Art of Harry Potter. I should not have bought this, honestly. I really shouldn't have. Like, I don't have the money to justify paying for this book. I don't even have the shelf space to add this on here, but how could I say no? It is actually stunning. I haven't got it open, but like, if you guys look, it's got some of the artwork on the back there, and it is just, it's, it's amazing, and I cannot wait once again to take my time going through this book. So there you guys have all the books that I've got most likely in like the last like two weeks. I know it's a huge pile and I have actually read a few so I feel like I deserve to have that many in this book haul. That's pretty much all that I've got for you guys today. Thank you for sticking by me and you know putting up with my long ass breaks and stuttering and incorrect words and every other fault that I have but I really appreciate you guys and I will try to do more bookish things so you know bear with me. I am also doing the social media for three of the Dimmick stores. I'm going to leave links to their Instagram below if you guys want to check them out and like all their photos and stuff because it really reflects well on me. I hope that you guys have all been doing really well and you're all getting excited. It is December which is Christmas month and my birthday month which I'm super excited for and yeah that's pretty much all I've got for this video so I'm going to stop rambling now and just say bye. Have a lovely bookish day and I shall see you guys soon. Hey guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here to show you guys my new bath product range that I have just started on my website at tillyandherbooks.com. I am very excited to show you guys